Hey everyone, today we are starting a Malawan Maya challenge. This is my first time ever attempting a challenge like this in Borderlands, so I decided to go with Malawan Maya since Maya is my favorite character, and it would be a fun introduction to challenge runs. I can also learn more about the game along the way. Okay, let's do it. Let's jump in there. Here's the rules. Rule number one, no bar. I really like bar for regular playthroughs as it gives a sense of growing power alongside the extent of your experience with the game, but it just doesn't make sense to have an arbitrary stat boost for a challenge. Rule number two, I can only equip Malawan gear. If non-Malawan loot gets equipped from missions, accidental looting, etc., then I must immediately drop or replace it. We will be allowed to equip a Malawan Allegiance Relic, but only that relic since relics are manufactured by Iridian. We will also be able to use vehicles and other niche mandatory gear if the necessity or overwhelming practicality arises throughout this playthrough. Rule number three. In order for this run to be completed, I must not only complete the game on normal using only Malawan gear, but also obtain every single unique piece of Malawan gear in the game. We may or may not be removing Pearlescence down the line due to their low chance of dropping in unfun farms, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Because we didn't have any Malawan gear yet, we had to nakedly punch our way through Knuckle Dragger and his Bully Monk Brigade. This can be massively annoying because they have a lot of knockback on their melee attacks. Come on! I get another health file real quick. Yes. Here we go. Poor Knuckle Dragger. It was like his one thing. Got meleeed to death. But we weren't done meleeing yet. Malawan loot takes a little longer to start spawning than most other manufacturers and required me to do a bit of leveling up before it started to drop. We needed to reach level 3 to get a Malawan gun, and it will only be fire damage until I get level 12 and 14. And yeah, we also don't have a shield this early. So just running around meleeing them is pretty tough. We decided to visit Digistruct Peak because doing the first quest there can give us a little bit of a bump in XP right at the beginning of our playthrough. Thank you, Tannis. We farmed our way up to level 5, but even then, melee was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, once we farm up a little bit, we'll be chilling. For those unaware, melee damage scales with your player level, so if I can overlevel the enemies, my melee will be doing more damage to them. And that does not mean melee will be easy, though. Maybe we'll be chilling. Wait! I got screwed there. We spent some time trying to get XP by completing some quests and killing lower tier enemies, but after realizing that the pain wasn't worth the gain, we decided to just farm Boom Boom for some levels. This took a little bit. We farmed our way up to level 9, then raided Flint's camp in hopes of finally finding a Malawan weapon. There's a few weapon chests along the way to Flint, and I was praying there would be a pistol I could use in one of them, even if it was only going to be fire damage. I hear a Malawan weapon. Does not bode well for me. Any health in there? No, you do not. I think I had some ammo. On gun chest. Malawan, let's go! Everything has just changed from this point on. This was a big find for us. We were struggling so much just getting to this point with melee only and no shield. Finding a gun, period, instantly improved our survivability by giving us a ranged option. Where was I? Woo! Keep them coming. We're cruising now. Now that we have a gun? Oh. Oh, yeah. Everything's different now. Everything is different now. We have a gun. It only took an hour and 25 minutes. But we're here, baby. While it was certainly easier with a gun, it was still difficult getting through a camp of shooters without a shield. But Captain Flint was upon us, which struck fear into my heart once more since he's almost entirely immune to fire damage. That would spell trouble for us. 
is there any way to kill all the fodder? Because if all the fodder dies, what I think we do is we just keep phase locking and punching and then running away as soon as, like, before the phase lock runs out. All right, Flint, let's do this. Flint takes like three damage, one damage. Punch him, just punch him a few times. Then we get out. Come on, come on. Invincible! Please, no, not like this! Our odds were not looking good for this fight. Oh, we got him! We got him! Wasn't my time. Hold it right there. Run, run, run! Oh god! Oh my god! Actual first try, Captain Flint. Actual first try, Captain Flint. Let's go. Oh my god. First try, Captain Flint. On Malawan Allegiance Run. Let's get it. I was expecting Flint to take us a long time to take down, and taking him out on our first try was a huge surprise and relief. Now, I could farm him to knock out one of our uniques, the Thunderball Fists, but I think I'd rather save that one for our TVHM run. This run would be substantially smoother now that we had a gun and got past the fire resistant boss, at least for a little while. It would still be a little tough without a shield, but way easier than what we've done so far. Now that Flint fight though, I can't believe it. I thought we were gonna be there for like an hour. We made it to Sanctuary, but just missed Roland, so we picked up some quests and headed out to find the Firehawk, but we we're gonna make a few pit stops first. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to kill that other skag. I guess just melee damage. Do I even have to kill it? I do not. Oh! A Mala 1 sniper, let's go! Oh, look at that! Ooh! Putting Mala 1 weaponry to use. I love Mala 1 snipers, they're awesome. We struggled a little bit in the Frostburn Canyons because many of the enemies here were fire resistant and we still only had access to incendiary Malawan weapons. We ended up having All to right, run bro. past Yo. a bunch of them and no pray ammo. we could either find a shield or dodge the bullets. Come on, just die? Just die maybe? Thank you. You get to live today? Everyone who's fire resistant, I got news for you. You get to be alive today. Just keep going. Just keep going. 2 HP in a dream, get to the same state. All right, let's go. Where's that badass at? You, my friend, will give me a boatload of XP, won't you? What? You just hit me in the middle of a phase lock? Um, I disagree. I think I disagree with that. I disagree. I disagree, Gary. And now you I'm gonna file a report on that referee. Oh, I will not be your new bicycle. I keep hitting up my phase lock, but I must be hitting it at like the worst time. They must just barely be getting their melee attack out. Oh, well, screw the pooch. No. <laughs> oh, man. Get a little close. A little dicey. A little dicey. Just on your life. No, no, Ooh. Yes, please. No, oh. Oh, no, thank you. Forgot that you followed your friend. 
didn't ya? That's okay. This one has a lot more ammo in it, so... I got something to spare on you. We rescued Lilith, and she tried to burn our retinas as thanks. Faster. I, I don't know what it is, though. We needed to rescue Roland next, but the bandits wouldn't open the gate for us, so we had to come back with a vehicle that resembled their own. We went to the dust, met Ellie, and made our car look like one of their own. Yeah, we're ready. I think, th yeah, I think we're, we're, we're gonna pass as a as a bandit technical, I think. They're gonna, I think we're gonna fool them. I think we're gonna fool the uh, the bandits when we roll up on them like this. Open up! Oh my god, wait. Are, we're about to experience Badma. And Badma is awesome, because Badma equals XP farm. How crazy would it be if in like future installments of Borderlands, there was a gunsmith. And you could, like, take other parts from other guns and put them on. Like, you could dismantle guns and have parts. Like, I could get a Vlad off barrel or whatever and slap it on my certain certain guns. That's something I really wanted in BL3. But it's it's a tricky thing. It's it's a tricky thing. Because, like, here's the thing. It could, a lot of people like Borderlands because you farm. Like, farming is the nature of Borderlands, right? So, like, what happens if you just make it so that you can make your own weapons is it gonna kill all farming i don't know before we rescued roland it would be a good idea to catch up a bit in level and if we ended up hitting level 14 that would mean we could get all elements on our weapons not just incendiary and since badma is such an easy farm we could get a few extra levels if we wanted to and we're almost 14 we could farm up to 15 or 16, but I think I think 14 is good for now. We decided to wrap it up for the day after hitting level 14. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. If you ever want to hang out live, check my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. Wisdom is strength.